starting off this countdown, we have Amchipka Island. Located in Alaska, this island is so secretive that sections of it are blurred out on Google Maps. The government doesn't want anyone finding out what's going on there. Now, from the 1950s to the 1970s, Amchipka Island was the site of US underground nuclear testing. As for what they are doing there nowadays, it's still unknown. I mean, apparently they are running tests there to see if the island has any radioactive leakage. If there isn't, then in 2025, they're looking at it becoming a wildlife reserve. But if that's all the government is doing and planning, then how come it's blurred out on Google Earth? What don't they want us seeing? Rumor has it that the military is doing some suspicious illegal activity there. Maybe they're still doing nuclear testing. Who knows? Moving on to number nine, we have Diego Garcia. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. Diego Garcia is a US occupied small island in the Indian Ocean. Technically, it's an overseas territory of Great Britain. In 1966, the people on the island were employed as contract farmers. They were working on coconut plantations. But from 1968 to 1973, the farm workers were kicked off the island by the UK government so that the US slash UK military could have a joint base on the island. So in 1966, the United States was given the rights to use the island if they forgot about the 14 million debt that the UK owed them. Now the island is used by government officials and it's highly, highly guarded. In fact, rumor has it that the island is home to a secret prison. Rumor also has it that the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 that went missing without a trace actually just landed on this island. Not only that, but apparently rumor has it that this base is used by the CIA to torture prisoners. There's some crazy theories out there. I hope one day we'll find out if any of them are true. Then in 2009, the US military evicted several thousand of the island's local residents. Why they did this is still so top secret. Like they don't know why they got evicted. I really wish we knew. Something fishy is going on over there. Coming in at number eight, we have the Dugway Proving Ground. Located in Utah, the Dugway Proving Ground is the main biological and chemical weapons testing site for the US Army. Like who knows how many and what kinds of dark deadly weapons they are building and testing there. The base also contains top secret US military research documents, which is one of the reasons why the government doesn't want you to know about it. Now, in 1968, the unbelievable happened at the base. On March 13th, a high-speed jet sprayed 320 gallons of nerve gas VX around the air in a test. This is so deadly that 10 milligrams can kill people. It'll stop your respiratory muscles from working and then you'll just choke to death. Anyways, it sprayed in an area near a farm. The next day, thousands of sheep were found dead. The government denied that this was their fault, but people aren't buying it. Either way, they paid the rancher who lost a sheep over $300,000 and tried to keep the situation hush hush. So the government definitely doesn't want us to know any of that, so, but I know it and I shared it with you. <laughs> Moving on to number seven, we have Camp Perry. Camp Perry, otherwise called The Farm, is a top secret training facility run by the CIA. The place is used to train CIA officers as well as officers working in the Defense Intelligence Agency. One of the reasons why this place is so secretive is because they don't want the identity of their top secret agents to be leaked. Because then, hello, they wouldn't be secret agents anymore, would they? Now, listen to just how intense this camp is. So former CIA officer Bill Wagner went to a three week interrogation course at the farm in 1970. He revealed that the people learning to be good interrogators practice techniques such as sleep deprivation, mock execution, and would deliberately taint food, which exposes that CIA interrogators use these techniques in real life. Of course, the US government has never formally acknowledged the existence of this camp. Although many people know that it's real. Coming in at number six, we have Area 51. Of course, I had to put this one on the list. Hello, everyone wants to know what the heck is going on at that top secret base. Like, are the rumors true? Do they really have animals hiding there? Are they conducting unethical tests on humans? Area 51 is home to a number of conspiracy theories because it's so highly protected and secretive. 
Seriously, people have gotten killed for trying to even get close to the building. This has led a lot of people to believe that the military is up to something. What do you think goes on in Area 51? Let me know in the comments below. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Sherman Kent School for Intelligence Analysis. This is a training school in Reston, Virginia for CIA analysts. The school has been given the nickname The Vault because of how many locks and alarms and guards it has. So basically, the school opened in May of 2000 and it apparently teaches members many important things, such as foreign languages, regional studies, satellite image analysis, wiretap transcript analysis, and media report analysis. So basically, everything you think a spy would need to know. This place is basically spy school, which is super cool. Now, like all places on this list, this one is also heavily guarded. It is located on the second floor of a five story structure. The glass windows are smoked to prevent people from looking in and spying. The building also contains sensors to prevent eavesdropping from outside. And like I said, it's protected by a number of locks and alarms and surveillance. In our fourth spot, we have Menwith Hill. Menwith Hill is a Royal Air Force base located in the UK. In fact, it is said to be one of the most secretive places in the UK. First off, the place is super odd. Like, there's a bunch of white domes all over the place that look like giant golf balls. Like, I feel like it's just the government's own mini putt or golfing range or something like that, but it's not. This site is said to be the largest electronic monitoring system on the planet. So basically, it's a place where they spy on us, monitoring our every move. The site first opened to spy on the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Since then, we don't know exactly what they're spying on. But it's a vital part of the NSA surveillance network. In 2012, it was believed that the base was involved in a number of drone attacks. However, this has never been confirmed. On top of that, it was revealed that the NSA used the base to, and I quote, aid a significant number of capture kill operations. That is terrifying, wow. Moving on to number three, we have Kapustin Yar. Kapustin Yar is basically Russian's version of Area 51. It is a top secret base created by the USSR. It was used for developing the Soviet space program. But now, rumor has it that it is home to aliens. Apparently, people saw a large red sphere flying in the sky right above this base. Others claim to have seen three-eyed aliens wearing silver overalls there. I mean, hey, at least he's stylish. In fact, most alien sightings in Russia occur near this top secret base. Coincidence? I think not. It could be that aliens are trying to escape from this base or something like that. There's even rumors of this base being used to conduct alien autopsies. It's pretty creepy. I don't even want to know if I want to find out what goes on in there. In our second spot, we have the Secret Super Command Bunker. Apparently, the Pentagon is planning to build a Secret Command Bunker 3,500 feet under Washington, D.C. What's the purpose of this bunker, you ask? Well, just in case of nuclear war, the bunker will keep people safe from the nukes. Apparently, the pandemic shook the US government and now they, and I quote, put plans in place to ensure critical elements of the US government can keep functioning in the midst of an extreme crisis. So they're basically gonna be like, sick, every man for themselves, peace out, and then just disappear into this secret bunker. And in our number one spot, we have Porton Down. Close to Stonehenge, there's a place called Porton Down, which is basically a massive experimental testing center. It's known for working on chemical and biological weapons, as well as dealing with dangerous pathogens. The stuff that goes on in there is dark, and I mean dark. Starting in 1945, the government began testing nerve gas on real humans. These testings on humans went until 1989. In the end, more than 3,400 people had nerve gas tested on them. In 1953, a man named Ronald Madison died after being subjected to liquid nerve gas. Not only did they lie and say they were no longer testing the gas on humans, but they denied that the nerve gas was the cause of his death. Recently, however, it was discovered that they are now testing this gas and other dangerous weapons on animals. What else goes on in there is unknown. Like, what if they're still running unethical tests on humans? It's crazy. Starting off this countdown, we have Castle Black. 
Now, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you might be like, whoa, Castle Black, is it named after the headquarters in the show? Well, it actually might be. This base, however, is very different. Basically, Castle Black is an American military base located in Syria. Sadly, it's not a castle at all, so the name is deceiving. But anyways, this base is for special forces operations. In fact, we only found out about it recently, after it was mentioned in documents obtained by The Intercept via the Freedom Information Act. What goes down in there is largely unknown. I actually think it's quite clever to name it after a fictional place from a very popular TV show. Because when I searched it, the first page of sites are all about Game of Thrones. So, in a way, it's hidden on the web. Moving on to number nine, we have the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. This is an underground base located nearly half a mile under a granite mountain. It is run by the Air Force Space Command. In the late 1950s, it was used as a command and control center against long-range Soviet bombers. Then in 1967, it was taken over by the Aerospace Defense Command Combat Operations Center. Now, this base is very secure. First off, it is comprised of six tunnels. Each tunnel is three stories tall, and the whole base is secured if a nuclear explosion occurs. In fact, it's protected by a 25-ton blast door. Those doors close within 45 seconds of the blast occurring, so they are well prepared. In our 8th spot we have Campbell Barracks. This base is used by the Australian Special Air Service, and it's where they run counter-terrorism training. But the Australian government doesn't really want to talk about it. I tried to google more about it, but that's literally the main thing it says. So yeah, the government really doesn't want information about this place getting out. It makes it a pretty big mystery. In our seventh spot today, we have Mount Weather. Mount Weather is an emergency operations center located in Virginia. Now, what is this place? Well, we don't really know much about it. In fact, this place is considered one of USA's best kept secrets. What we do know though, is that they have a secret underground bunker there. So in case of an emergency, they can keep all the government officials there in the bunker. They even have their own police and fire department and laws for this place. Like they are prepared for an apocalypse. They are prepared for the end of the world. In our sixth spot today, we have the floating sea bases. Located in South China, the government has a number of secret bases just floating in the ocean. No one is really sure what China is doing with these bases. Some think it's a way to claim some of the waterways and undersea resources, or it's a way to control shipping and trade. But like I said, no one really knows for sure. And if you get too close to these bases, you'll be told to leave immediately. This has happened to a number of pilots flying in the area. Another theory is that China is planning to build underwater deep sea bases. These bases will eventually connect to the ones above water. But like I said, who really knows? We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the HARP research. The HARP research, or H-A-A-R-P, stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, and it is located in Alaska. Now, what do they do at this base? Well, there's a lot of controversy and conspiracy theories surrounding it. So they analyze the ionosphere, place where the Earth's atmosphere meets space. They do this with a high frequency transmitter. Now here's where the conspiracy theories come in. Many people believe that they are using this base to control the weather or even to mind control us. It's crazy, I know. Theory also goes on to say that the 2010 Haiti earthquake was caused by them. In our fourth spot, we have the US Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Disease. That was a mouthful. But this is the place where they study deadly diseases and research into countermeasure for biological warfare. In fact, the place is filled with infectious agents. Obviously, they're highly sealed off, so there's no risk of exposure. But still, if anything happened, they could legit release another plague. Of course, a number of people believe that this is the site where the government is engineering new viruses to release into the public. Or that over years, they have accidentally created new viruses and then accidentally released them into the public. Either way, that would be incredibly scary. In our third spot, we have the Underwater Area 51. So apparently Idaho has its very own Area 51 and it's located completely underwater. The lake that it's located in is 1200 feet deep and it's pretty remote. So it's deep enough to run tests and it's secluded enough to keep the nosy Karens out. 
Apparently, the main purpose of this base is to test new equipment, like submarines. Of course, a bunch of people think that there's something fishy going on down there. Get it? Fishy? Anyways, locals have claimed that ever since the military had their way with this lake, weird things have been happening there. Like UFO sightings all around the base. Hence why it was given the name, the Underwater Area 51. Who knows, maybe they are running tests on aliens, and maybe also the Loch Ness Monster. Coming in at number two, we have Raven Rock Mountain Complex. This is an underground nuclear bunker located in Pennsylvania. It was built during the Cold War to help the Pentagon with their missions. Basically, it was created so that if America ever launched a nuclear strike, or were target of one, they could just hide out there and be safe, while the rest of humanity just dies. How nice of them. But check this out. In 2006, Defense Department officials held a military exercise at Raven Rock. It was to see how well the facility would respond to a flu pandemic. I mean, I'm not one to start conspiracies, but it's like they knew a deadly pandemic was on its way. And in our number one spot today, we have Jeanette Island. Located in Russia, this island is believed to be the home of a secret Russian military base. Want to know how top secret it is? Well, if you Google this island's supposed coordinates on Google Earth, all you'll see is water, not even land. That's because they had it removed entirely from Google Maps. Before that, the island was just blurred out, and if you tried to zoom in, the screen would just go all black. As a result, people believe that there's a concealed Russian military base located there, and a substantial one at that. I mean, the whole thing is wiped completely from the maps, so they wanna make people think that it doesn't exist. Starting off this countdown, we have the NSA spy hubs. We all know that the NSA is spying on us, okay? That's old news. I mean, in 2013, former contractor for the CIA, Edward Snowden, revealed that the NSA was collecting phone records of millions of Americans and spying on us through our phone calls. Well, it turns out they have multiple top secret secret bases. Half of them, we don't even know where they're located. We just know that they're out there, somewhere. These spy hubs are often windowless skyscrapers. There are some in Atlanta, Dallas, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, San Francisco, Seattle, and of course, Washington DC. These buildings though, aren't regular buildings. No, no, of course not. They are highly secure and guarded. In fact, they are built to withstand terrorist attacks, nuclear attacks, and natural disasters. So not only do we not know where they're located, we don't know what they're doing in all of these hubs, besides spying on American citizens. So you better behave. They're watching. Always watching. <laughs> Moving on to number nine, we have Bohemian Grove. What happens at the Grove stays at the Grove. I feel like that's the motto they go by. The Bohemian Club is this group of rich men who meet in the Bohemian Grove in California every July. Among the attendees are past and present presidents, government members, and business leaders. What goes on there is really unknown. Some say it's like a cult. And rumor has it that they perform live Five sacrifices there. I don't know if it's humans or animals, but that's a no from me. In 2000, Texas-based filmmaker Alex Jones and his cameraman snuck into the camp and filmed this ceremony called the Cremation of the Care. Sounds creepy and looks creepy. He caught a bunch of individuals wearing cloaks standing over a large fire doing this weird ritual. What these individuals of high power do there is a big mystery. All we know is that they're up to no good. In our eighth spot, we have Area 6. This is a top secret base that we don't know too much about. In fact, it was only discovered in 2016. Someone was on Google Earth when they spotted this weird air base in the Nevada desert. It was unnamed on Google Earth. Obviously, the government didn't want us to find it, but too late for that. After that, it was confirmed that this was a government base. This base is about 12 miles northeast of Area 51. Apparently in 1945 to 1995, over 1,000 nuclear tests were conducted there. It's also believed to be a site used to test military drones. I mean, you can try researching all about Area 6, but not a lot will come up. That's how secretive this place is. And no matter what online articles say about this place, we will never truly know what goes on behind 
behind those closed doors. In our seventh spot today, we have Pine Gap, Australia. Located deep in the Australian outback is Pine Gap, another top secret military base. In fact, this base has been named Australia's Area 51. So this place is used by Australia and the US government and is a satellite surveillance base. The NSA uses the facility to collect internet and telephone records. We found this out back in 2013 when Edward Snowden revealed some highly classified info on the NSA and how they're spying on everyone. However, conspiracy theorists believe that this base is home to one of the most terrifying surveillance systems out there, the Echelon. We don't know for sure though, and we might never know. Moving on to number 6 we have S4. Area 51 might not be home to aliens slash UFOs anymore. That's right, you heard me. So theory goes that Area 51 has moved their alien life to a new nearby base. S4. They did this because, hello, everyone believes that Area 51 has aliens and UFOs. And if it's true, they don't want anyone knowing where they're being kept. So this theory surfaced after a lot of strange activity started happening at this base. People claim to have seen UFOs flying around the base and then landing nearby. Honestly, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Also, go ahead and Google it. Go ahead, try to find information about S4. What's out there is very scarce. So the government is doing a good job of keeping this base a secret. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the unnamed base. This is another base discovered by Google Earth. Again, had it not been for Google, this base might have still been a secret. So this base is located in Saudi Arabia and is another base the US government has not recognized yet. It's located deep in the Arabian desert, meaning the government really didn't want us to find it. If that's the case, then they need to have a word with Google Earth because they're just out there exposing them. Now, according to two former American intelligence officers, they thought the base was a drone center. So it could be a base for Predator and Reaper drones. There is an airstrip there, so that does make sense. But still, we don't know for sure. And you need to count how many times I say that in this video because it's true. Like, we don't know and it's freaky. Moving on to number four, we have the Wright Patterson Air Force Base. This base is said to be one of the most mysterious military bases in the US. During the Cold War, this base was where military scientists would reverse engineer Russian aircrafts. Even though the Cold War is over, the base is still in operation. They are now just moving on to other projects. What they're working on now remains a huge mystery. Some say they're building new spy planes there, or are reverse engineering foreign tech. We don't know, but rumor has it that this base is home to a lot of extraterrestrial activity. Conspiracy theorists think that this place is where scientists reverse engineer alien technology. That would be absolutely insane if that's true. So I hope it's not. Coming in at number three, we have Tolicha Peak Electronic Combat Range. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I have never heard of electronic combat until now, but this is the place where pilots get trained to deal with electronic warfare. In case of an attack, they know how to properly respond and fight back. Now, it's unknown how old this base has been around for, but it was found in images from the area dating back to 1984, so maybe around then or the 1970s. But the images were blurry, so they can't verify that for sure. And that's all we know about this base. It's so low key that it's actually nearly impossible to spot on a map. Again, even Google has barely any information out there for me. In our second spot, we have Harvey Point Defense Testing Activity Facility. That was a mouthful. Harvey Point is a military base owned by the Department of Defense. It's located near the city of Hartford in North Carolina. And apparently living near there is an absolute nightmare. People have described black helicopters constantly flying over at night. And they often see buses with blacked out windows traveling there. Not only that, someone said, and I quote, mysterious trucks haul in old limousines and haul out bullet riddled blackened ones. End of quote. Then there are the bombs. Apparently a lot of explosions go off there. Some residents wake up terrified by the noise. In fact, sometimes homes shake so much that they develop cracks. So this area is where they set off powerful explosions to apparently recreate terrorist attacks. They have been known to blow up cars, safes, I mean you get it. Retired Sheriff Julian Broughton said, and I quote, My son works there as security. 
but he doesn't tell me nothing and I don't ask. Over the years though, it has been revealed that it's also a training facility, basically spy school for the CIA, FBI, and SEALs. And in our number one spot today, we have Dulce Base. This one is the creepiest place on this list. So the small town of Dulce in New Mexico is said to have a secret underground facility where they do a number of crazy experiments. The first time someone mentioned this base was back in the 1930s. From there, the room Rumors skyrocketed. Now it's believed that there is a seven story compound beneath the city, and that's where there are human animal hybrids and human alien hybrids. Or that's where humans and aliens work together on mind control experiments. It's crazy. But those are just rumors. We're not even 100% sure if this base even exists or what. But guess what? This place is pretty close to Skinwalker Ranch. Coincidence? I think not. And there have been a number of UFO sightings in that area. Coincidence? I think not. 